Welcome back, awesome Asteroid fans and subscribers. I have a Z and Y Productions Hong Kong Limited action figure here from their Heroes of the Marsh, the water margin range. This is my wife tells me since I don't read Chinese. Si Hu Juan. And someone can correct me if my pronunciation is really, really bad. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Art on the front shows the figure on the back with some accessories. Looks pretty damn cool. Um, I have reviewed some more of the stuff and I'll put some of that in the videos a bit later. Uh, let's crack him open and have a look. So the box is quite easy to open. And it's got a nice tab you can pull. Uh, there is foam here. But the foam is open on one side, as we found, so I'll push it out this way. Or is it both sides? I've forgotten. Okay, so we get a card here showing this picture. Some stuff in Chinese, which obviously I can't read. Maybe one of the Chinese subscribers, Chinese reading subscribers, could uh, pause that and read that if they have the time or the inclination to do so. We have here his base. Uh, the uh, stone part looks pretty cool, which will fit on to here. I do like these bases a lot. They're very nicely done. Um, we have loads of spare hands here. Some of the other ones had came with 16 or 16? 8 pairs or 14 pairs of spare hands, which is like phenomenal amount of hands you can change and great for other figures doing customs. He doesn't have that many. I can have a quick count in case I'm wrong. We've still got quite a few now. More than you would get in your normal action figures. So he's got, uh, let me see. That is a left hand, right hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, left hand, right hand, right hand, left hand, left hand. Right hand, right hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I get that right? Have I missed one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he comes with uh, seven spare right hands and one left hand. So maybe I'm missing a left hand. And he includes the giving the bird. Which is fantastic. Uh, it has a pointing hand, has like a tiger fist hand, like a drunken uh, kung fu style hand, a gripping hand, a more open gripping hand, and he has the same on the opposite. I'm trying to see which hand is different on the opposite. He seems to have another gripping hand on the right, which I'm missing on the left, or whichever way around it goes. Okay, that's pretty cool. I will put those, and they actually the flesh color on the hands is really nice. I will put those hands back in the bag for now. He looks rather cool sitting in his foam here. He's going to be a big figure there. Figures are generally on the large side for 118. But that is not an issue. He's looking like a mean dude inside there. Okay, let's put the hands to the side. He comes with this sort of a beer flask or wine flask. So the wine is splashing out. Vroom. Okay, so uh, he has here an axe. He has two of these axes, and they look really quite nice with the sort of silver blade, make it look sharper, the dark uh, grey and the dark sort of brown handles. No other weapons, and then the figure himself, who is looking rather badass let's give me a bit of a closer look there okay so impressions face sculpt is pretty damn cool he does look good he looks really menacing like, he is angry um belt section does come off you've seen this in my other videos which is nice the sculpting on the feet is okay it's not bad to be fair the muscularity is pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. You can take the clothes off. That might be a bit of a struggle with some of the figures. Uh, articulation, the clothes are going to get in the way. But let's have a look. So he has a left and a right. Uh, not much of an up because the clothes gets it down. He does 
Mm, doesn't get a side to side. Oops, shoulders and his elbow pops out. Okay. Despite the clothes getting away, he will get over flat, which is fantastic. Let's see what his bicep bend is going to be like. I reckon it's going to be... Oh, bicep. I was about to say he's get over the 90, it pops out. He gets about 90 degrees, much further than that, and the, the joint will pop out. But it's actually quite a nice little ball joint, ball and hinge joint there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and he can come forwards with the shoulders and back, pretty cool. There is trunk, but with his clothes on, you won't get much there, you will get the waist. Uh, legs. Now, the issue I've had with these in the past is the... Uh, they don't get enough range of motion in the hips. I'm pleased to say this is a huge improvement. Look at that. It's almost a full split. That is really, really good range of motion in his hips there without the hip joints popping out. Forwards and backwards will be the issue because of the clothes. If I hold that up, let's see what you'll get. He'll easily get to the uh, just about the flat, which is great. Uh, backwards, more difficult because the sculpt, but still better than most figures. He has a double knee joint, but really chunky legs, so I'm not sure how tight he'll get. Let's have a look. So he does get over quite a fair bit over flat, which is cool. Um, ankles. There's no turn, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'll tell a lie, he can turn. But it's a turn of a swivel. And he goes tippy toes, pretty cool. Michael Jackson is like really good as well. He's just an all round really nice looking figure. Um, he's probably my favorite out of this line so far. I think it looks really, really good. Menacing face, very nice. I might try and take some of this stuff off very quickly. Uh, taking the clothes off is me a real pain in the butt, though. But luckily, because you can take them apart, the figures apart quite easily, that should speed up the process. Let me see. The clothes are a soft, rubbery sort of a, almost like a latex, but they are, oops, they are um, quite thick. So you don't have to worry too much about breaking them. And they won't deteriorate very fast either because of how thick they are. In fact, I can get his body out sideways through his... There we go. Push him back together. And get a better idea of what he looks like. Now the plastic is a soft plastic on these. Which I don't mind. I think it looks rather cool. Okay, so here he is without his... Uh, Close on, and he does look pretty damn mean still. He's a well, excuse me, a well proportioned big boy. Okay, so um, I am going to change a couple of his hands over, see how he holds his uh, weapons. Then I'll compare him to some other figures from the same line, and also from some other lines to see what I mean by their size. So uh, let's give him a. Very unfriendly given the bird on his, uh, let me see, let's do the uh, left hand. What, the left hand bird I think I have, let me see. Yeah, here we go. So, so left hand is going to be given the bird. And the hands, sorry, the hands do have joints, I should say. The wrists have joints built into the hands. And then right hand... I want a gripping hand so we can hold his axe. Uh, will that one do it? That one should do it. Let's see how he does.
You want some of me? F you, man. You want some of me? Come and get some. Yeah, he's ready to uh, lop off some heads. He's <laughs> not particularly friendly, but he does look pretty damn awesome. I like him a lot. I mean, I like all the things in their range. The first three they released, their first wave looked really nice. But the issue was their hands were too soft. They couldn't really hold the weapons. But these are huge improvement. He holds the weapons very well. I do like this line. Um, I'm not worried about the arm popping out. Because it's very easy to put back in and, and take out again. And you can change the arms. In fact, some of them came with spare arms to replace for the first three that were released. So you can change the arms and change the hands, which solves that problem I just mentioned. Uh, pretty cool. He's quite easy to pose, which is nice as well. Uh, this one, you just got to be careful when you do the sideways that you get the hip to go under the uh, pelvis and he gets to a nice position. Be difficult to balance some kicks about that foot turn. Uh, he doesn't really have a thigh turn. You have to turn the hip joint. And hopefully you'll get the uh, pose you want. So he's almost doing a nice side kick there. Let's get him a bit better balanced. Oops. And let's see. But he won't stay there for, won't stay there for long. Um, yeah, just missing that turn on the uh, ankle or, or boot turn. And that would be a little bit easier to pose with those dynamic poses. But he is a great looking figure nonetheless. Now, I may want to put a, a little bit of glue around his joint. Or around the ball of this joint. Let it dry. PVA glue, white glue. Then pop it back in. It will be more firm. And I can take the glue off in the future if I want. But, and still maintain his articulation. Okay, um, so he's got the pot here. Let me see which hand he should do with his... Maybe with his left hand. Let me find his drunken master fists here. Uh, da, da, da. Or maybe he could do a tiger claw fist. So this would be a tiger claw and a tiger claw where drunken master fists. There's one. And where is the other one? Maybe that's... No, she had that so there we go. So these ones we are called a drunken master fist because they hold the <coughs> they hold their uh, their wine and so forth and use these sort of fists. If you've seen sort of the Jackie Chan movies, Drunken Master One, Drunken Master Two, etc., you would have seen this. Okay, let's pop out his hands and let's see how he looks with these hands in. Oh yeah. These are also like trigger fists as well. So that's quite amusing, I guess. Okay. The only other thing I'd say is the uh, peg on the wrist, if it's slightly longer, would be another good improvement. This pops out a little bit too easily as well, particularly if you're going to flex the wrist. So you can get a nice pose with this, but it's going to be quite tough to find the uh, balance that you want. I might have to change one of those hands again, which I don't want to do. So basically I'm going to do this, and this hand hold his uh, pot. But the arm bend is quite, the joint is a little bit of a loose side. To get to where I want is difficult. Unless he he actually holds it underneath, in which case, on his uh, the chan. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I change that way, this arm tight. Okay, this arm's a bit tighter. That might work a bit better. But he's his left hand for the down, his right hand for the up. I should get a better grip. Let's have a look. 
but still not quite enough even with the wrist going round. Oh, maybe I tell a lie. That's pretty damn cool. Let's get that round to that. And he's got the wine sort of dropping out as well. He is a nice, nice looking figure. Now let's compare him to some other from the same line, first of all. I'll compare him to the one I reviewed recently, which is one of the soldiers. Who I've got in the stocks right here. Um, scale obviously is perfect. Looks pretty damn cool. I'll put him in suggested videos as well. Another one I reviewed a while back. I've uh, forgotten his name. He is large, you can see that he's looks like he's almost a different scale, he's sort of towering above this one here. But he's a really cool figure as well, but he struggles with sideways articulation, his hips, the hips pop out a little bit. To give an idea compared to other ranges, if I use a Black Knight from Fortnite, they still scale, but this guy is like, you know, he's a big guy and he's hench. If I use a big, let me see. Alright, let's use a big figure. This is this Ballastar or Ballastar? Uh from Marvel Universe? Scales well, but obviously this guy is a lot bigger. This is a really nice figure. The axes are really nice. Uh this wine flagon or wine vase is really cool. It's got a bit of weight to it. He is nice, articulation is pretty cool. But again, I'm gonna want to put a bit of PVA glue around there. A little bit of sellotape, in fact. Um, but I prefer PVA glue. Because when it dries, it gives a rubbery effect. It'll keep it nice and tight. And you can just peel it off very carefully with a knife. Or maybe even your fingernail. When you, you want to take it off in future date. We use super glue, is more difficult. Uh, tape's okay too, but you might get a bit of a squeak. But I'd use PVA glue there. He does look really, really quite cool. Nice, nice figure. Um, and one of, the th one of the few that doesn't come with a hat. The soldier I just showed does come for hat and also a ponytail. Great figure. You get um did I get how much? Was that? 13 spare hands, was it? Was it seven right and six left or something like this? So that is a really, really nice touch. Great for adding articulation um variety to his poses. In fact, if I always stick on the uh, tiger claw hands, that should give another nice sort of look. So I'm gonna get a nice tiger claw pose going. Where's his other one? There's one. There's two, okay. <laughs> Trying to figure out how many of his pose. <laughs> okay. Oh, this wrist, this elbow joint here. Pretty damn cool. Very, very nice figure indeed. Uh, so Z and Y are getting better and better. You compare these, to, as I said, to their initial release of three figures. And even though they look really nice, these are far superior in terms of quality. Um, articulation is improved. The joints are better. And the variety of hands they give you as well is just so, so good. So good job by Z and Y Productions Hong Kong on this figure here. And he can go on his base here, like thus. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. I'm signing out saying please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toys videos for you. Stay happy and keep collecting, and please click on the bell notification icon to stay up to date to latest videos, reviews, uploads, etc. Okay, bye-bye.